Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again today. Hope everyone's doing well and you're taking care of yourselves. Now, before I get started, I do want to say, of course, I am not a financial advisor. I'm simply sharing my thoughts and opinions, so please only take it as that. Now, guys, as you can see, XRP is uh, kind of trying to have some activity here. Um, I do believe, I'm just going to say it right off, we uh, need to get ready. Uh, get your spacesuits on and your helmets on and, uh, you know, because we could be actually taking off. So if it happens, I want you to be ready. Now, price wise, we are uh, at 29 cents or basically 30 cents. It looks like we're, we are uh, very likely going to breach it today or tomorrow, uh, confidently above 30 cents. But, you know, obviously we'll just have to see. With all the news and everything kind of ramping up as we get closer to swell and with uh, YouTube uh, content creators actually being invited to swell, that's just unprecedented. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get an invite. Um, I'm, I'm really shocked about that. I'm, I, can't, I can't imagine why Ripple would look over me. But anyway, I guess I'm going to have to, you know, go find some ice cream to eat or something, you know. Yeah. Oh, well. Better leg next time. Anyway, um, uh, definitely a congratulations to all the guys that did get invited and that will be going. Uh, I hope they enjoy it, and I hope they're able to really keep kind of keep us up uh, up to date and up to, up to the minute on what's happening. I'm sure there will probably be some uh, how should I say it kind of some closed door um, announcements or or updates and. You know, they'll probably be told what they can or cannot share. But, you know, we'll see, guys. Uh, as we uh, move forward and get closer, I personally would expect that we'll get um, higher and higher. Hopefully we'll get close to uh, our, our, you know, our latest highs within the last couple years or since the uh, bull run in 2017. But again, we'll see what happens. Um, I, you know, with everything that's going on, I'm very, very hopeful. Uh, not to mention, you know, a few things that uh, I've kind of come across. But again, we'll see, guys. We'll see. All right. With all that being said, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, I'm not going to. I mean, you guys have seen all of this stuff, so I'll just go over it and just tell you what I think about it. Now, here, U.S. second largest bank, Bank of America, secretly tests Ripple XRP technology. Now, I don't think this is a surprise. We know we've already known that. Uh, Bank of America has been a partner of uh, Ripple for quite some time now. And yeah, as it says here, Bank of America has been part of Ripple's global payment steering group uh, since 2016. And we did pilot with them. So uh, again, this is not a surprise. Uh, now, the fact that they are kind of announcing uh, some things now kind of gives me an idea or, or puts me in the mindset that Whatever is going to be announced, and obviously something has to be announced simply because, you know, why would why else would Ripple be inviting um, content creators? They, they want as much coverage as possible and probably, you know, I, it, it, I kind of see this as a nod to the uh, XRP community because we have been behind Ripple this whole way and there are some of us who are just die hard. Uh, guys, and definitely I tip my hats up to everyone that's still here, been that, that have gone through all the uh, ups and downs and the bumps and everything. I mean, you guys are awesome. You know, honestly, we are awesome because we stayed with it no matter what. So anyway, um, I'm just looking forward to uh, whatever's going to happen. And I just, again, hope that it is some really, really big news that will lead us into a substantial bull run but we'll see um, let's just remain hopeful um okay so a couple things here i want to go into but i want to save those for last so um yeah same thing bank all right here as you can see xrp exits downtrend to hit three week high um yeah again i mean we're kind of coming up and this is you know i'm sure due to the uh the good news and the news basically that's been coming out regarding uh, all the things that's going on with XRP and and, and it is just it's still it it is uh, amazing how all of this stuff can come out yet um, 
not a whole lot of movement, not, nothing significant really. But uh, I think that's going to change, guys. I mean, I'm you know just basically making a uh, kind of making an observation uh, here. Million Dollar Ripple Initiative aims to make XRP and blockchain like Amazon Web Services for money. Um, this would oh man, just the whole idea of payments, you know, uh, XRP, uh, Ripple, like facilitating that. It's just uh, man, that just opens up so much for, um, you know, for the, 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 the XRPL. I, this is, it's just so much, so many uh, different uh, innovations. I mean, you got what's it when you got all of these. And this right here is here, as I say, um, what more specifically, what we're aiming to do with the platform is provide developers with various tools, services, and programs to make it easier for them to build on the XRP. Uh, XRPL and leverage interledger protocol. Ultimately, we want the XSpring platform to bring money to the internet at the same core level as text, images, and video today. Guys, that is huge because you think about uh, these. This that last statement there: text, images, and video. Just think about how much bandwidth is taken up by those three things right there. Just think about that. How many videos? I mean, thinking about YouTube, Vimeo, uh, Daily Motion, uh, Facebook, Twitter. I mean, all the videos that are being uploaded and, and watched on a daily basis. Uh, it's just amazing. And then you have text. Obviously, text is, is just beyond huge. And, uh, and, and pictures. I mean, guys, bringing payments up to a level uh, of such magnitude is absolutely huge. So uh, I think honestly we have a lot, a lot to look forward to. This is going to be an amazing journey, guys. Very amazing journey. Okay, um, what is the next thing? Yeah, uh, here. Uh, so it looks like they have come together on a new deal as far as Brexit is concerned. This is something I'm going to keep my eyes on. Um, not quite sure. A lot of times they release stuff and, you know, it's not all the way, uh, or as far along as, as they try to make it out to be. So, uh, it looks like they've got some type of deal working. Uh, but all in all, this is something that we need to keep our eyes on. I know there were a lot of people kind of, um, kind of looking at this as part of the catalyst that will, uh, help this bull run happen. So uh, again, guys, let's just, uh, you know, keep Keep our eyes on it. We'll see how this all goes. I think that if this is the case and they do have a uh, a, a real deal, it's gonna gonna make things just that much better. All right, uh, moving on. Breaking 11 now. This is <laughs> this is a little uh, bit of a, a detour, but guys, this is also very very big. This is some other stuff that I'm uh, following. 11 count indictment handed down in Russian bribery case involving. Uh, Uranium One, Clinton, Obama, Mueller, Comey, McCabe, Rosenstein, Holder, Lynch facing criminal prosecution. So um, this actually was started uh, here January 12, 2018, almost two years ago. Uh, but, you know, with the court system, you know, you guys know how long that takes to actually, you know, for anything to happen. But definitely something to keep your eyes on here, guys. Uh, I don't know if any of you are following uh, really care or, you know, what your uh, idea or or what your affiliation is as far as uh, politically, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Either way, it's, you know, this could potentially lead to something extremely big. So uh, again, let's keep our eyes on that and uh, hey, see what happens. I, I do believe it is. I, I don't I don't think all of this happening at all. All right now is just a coincidence. I think everything that's going on right now is going to uh, help facilitate this switch over to the uh, to this new financial system that we all know is coming, and also the uh, bull run that we also or we all know that's coming. All right. Uh, so last thing here. Oh no, that wasn't it. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. That was it. That was the last thing right here. 
yeah so these are the two things that i, I was holding back on but uh, yeah guys that's it so um yeah let me know what you think about it in the comments below tell me what you guys think um i think this all this stuff is extremely interesting uh again swell um you know there was some some talk about today and the 18th uh we'll see what happens tomorrow uh i've heard some uh talk about us possibly or at least needing to get to a dollar uh so the uh whatever happens during swell will will allow us to reach whatever heights that uh, we we might be able to get to but guys either way like i said a lot to look forward to a lot to be excited about this is a huge change from what we have seen just a very short few months ago the fud is has has really subsided and the the amount of news that's coming out uh good news is just man it's it's uh it's it's quite substantial so um anyway uh looking forward to the future here what's going to happen over the next few weeks honestly so let's hey let's stay on top of it guys again leave your comments below and if you haven't already done so please make sure you leave uh i'm sorry you uh, uh subscribe like hit that post notification button and also choose to have every notification sent Guys, until next time, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves, and God bless.